friends this is 21st video of javascript tutorial and today in this video we are going to talk about how you can animate the elements of html document using jquery click on exclamation point and then enter so now here uh, first of all i will insert the jquery library file here from the previous vi video i will just copy it i had shown you previously that how you can how i can insert it so i'll just copy it here and after this now inside body script and inside it as i had shown you in my previous video i will use append here i will create the element using jquery here and create animation in it i will use dollar function here and after this inside the parenthesis i will put the argument inside those quotes and here I will use body because I want to insert the element inside the body. So here I will use body and then I will put here dot append. And after this, here I will uh, write using h1. So I will insert it into h1 that is heading 1. So I will write here I have created an element heading. And now I will close it. And now here I will first of all use fade out animation here. So I will write here dot fade out. And for this fade out, I will give argument as 3000. Now what this 3000 is? 3000 is the 3000 millisecond. So 3000 milliseconds means three seconds we have. So here I will write this. And after this, I will put the semicolon and let's save it so now what this will do is it will create a heading that is h1 heading uh, for me and uh, it will fade it out so here you can see i have zoomed it for you so you can see here that the element was created and it is getting fade if i also want it to fade in means I want to display it again then I can here again use uh, dot and after this I will write here fade in here I can write for example again 3000 and here you can see it is fade out and now it has fade in if you already have any element in that case what will you do if you already have h1 here or let's say you are having paragraph here so this uh, paragraph you are already having here and I don't have anything inside it so what will you do here you don't need to write this body because now I am not going to create anything I will write here P okay because I want to make changes in P here so and because I, I am having only one P here so there is no need to uh, use any uh, ID here because there is only one p here so uh, i will not use append here i will just write text and inside the text this i will write here but i will not write here h1 because of now i am not using h1 here that's it first of all i will insert into this p this string and after this this string will fade out and then it will get paid in so i'll refresh it here and you can see i have created an element heading and it has now paid out and after that it has paid in if you already have something written here in it and uh, you can see here if this thing is already written here like this then and you don't want anything new to be written here you just want to create animation for it then you just have to write here dollar and inside it you will write p and uh, for this you will write fade out and fade in and in this way also it will do the same work but here in this case you have not given any new value to this paragraph and uh, here again i will refresh it and you can see it will do the same functioning here also. if you are having multiple paragraphs in that case you can uh, use id here for example here you can write if you are having one more p then for this p uh, i am writing i have one more or i have one more paragraph now 
I am having two paragraphs, so I will have to give ID for it. And for this ID, uh, let's say I'm giving it an ID as para. And if I am giving this ID as para, then I will have to use hash here. And after this, I will write here para. This will identify this paragraph and will animate only this paragraph and not this one. And you can see that I have one more paragraph and only animation is on this paragraph, on this line. You have uh, some other animation effects also. For example, let's say uh, I give this as ID is equal to para one and to this one I am giving ID as para two. So here I will have to use para two here and for para one I want to give some other for example here I will use para one here and for para one I will give another animation effect slide down and slide up. So I will use here slide up after that I want slide down also save it and then you can see here we have one more animation that is fade to so for the time being let's put it into comments and here uh, in this I want to use fade to so what this fade to will do is it takes two arguments the first argument is to fade for example I want to fade it for, uh, for 3000 and it takes one more argument and that argument lie between 0 and 1 so for example if I want to uh, put the value here 0 0.5 then let's see what happens here you can see that it has got fade but it has not faded completely it has faded only half and after that it has stopped fading so this is uh, what it does fade to and if let's say if I change its value if I if you want it to fade a little bit more but not completely then you can reduce the value here if you reduce the value to let's say 0 0.2 then again you save it it will get fade so much but not completely to save time I have written a very small example uh, of codes in which I have uh, can see here here I have uh, created an array which is of animals and here I have written the name of the animals and randomly I will choose any of the animal for this I have used mat.floor and mat.random for this uh, you can uh, go to my video number seven in which I have explained uh, arrays and mat.floor mat.random in with full explanation and here after this what I have done is I have used if statement here and uh, here let me delete this one and here if uh, I have used if statement and uh, if animal this animal uh, here it will take a number and this random number if it is equal to zero then it uh, then uh, here what it will write in para one here in instead of this para it will write the text as lion is the king if it if this animal take the value of uh, one in that case it will write tiger is the national element of an animal of India and if this animal any animal variable take the value 2 here in that case it it will write here elephant is having big size so uh, here i'll save it and here you can see that uh, after refreshing you can see here lion is the king and uh, here if i refresh it again then you can see tiger is the national element and uh, here after that if I'll click uh, keep on refreshing it it will randomly take any any of these so I hope that you like my video in the next video we will talk about some more examples of uh, animations so have a nice day goodbye <music>